Welcome back everyone. Today is Saturday, April 2nd. It is episode 3 of this season in the bee yard. I'm sure you can tell what we're going to do based on what you see sitting here. This is the Varroa Easy Check and today we are going to do a mite wash. So just on initial uh, inspection here, just looking, there's at least two more frames of bees up in this upper box than there was, what, two weeks ago, I think, last time we were in here. This is a Ziploc feeder. It's completely empty. I figured it would be. It was almost gone before. I've been open feeding them for the last uh, several days. We got some rain yesterday. And a couple days before that. So we've had rain twice here in the last few days. I'm gonna go ahead and take this top box off and go straight to the bottom box. See if we can find us a good frame of open brood. First, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the queen. I don't have a lot of hives, so I have time to like take my time. I know some people will just look over the frame really good, make sure the queen's not on it, and then that's, they're happy with that. This box is getting heavy. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I get eyes on the queen. Before I start taking bees for the wash. One, two, three, four. It's about five frames of bees down here, so they are definitely expanding in population. I might take one frame, won't be today, maybe tomorrow, but I might take one frame of brood eggs and young larvae out of here and do a walkaway split with my two frame mating nuke just to get a new queen. This is my queen from April of last year, and uh. I'm not going to overwinter her again, so I'm going to let her get through the honey flow and then I'm going to replace her. So while we're digging through this brood frame, kind of tell you what my plans are. If I have a mite count of a zero or a one, I'm not going to treat. If I have two mites in the count, then I am going to go ahead and treat. And I know that seems like a low, low number. It's not even a 1% load, uh, but this time of year, the mite population can explode. And so that's just kind of what I'm gonna do. I wanna keep the mites really low this time of year. If it were the fall, I would accept a three, a two or a three maybe, knowing that I'm gonna do those winter oxalic, treatment, oxalic acid treatments when they're broodless. But no, this time of year, not gonna do that. So this frame is just uh, nectar or sugar syrup they're just storing away. So still not to the brood nest. Nope, now we're on brood. So there was not any, there's cat brood on this frame and last time we were in here, there was no brood on this frame. So they have moved the brood nest over some. A lot of baby bees in here. Some drone brood at the top of this cell. I haven't seen any drones yet. Or drone brood at the top of this frame, I think I said cell. Uh, I'll kind of keep an eye out for a couple of drones. I know there was some dr drone brood in here a couple of weeks ago that was capped, so they should be out. That right there would probably be a good frame for my walk away split.
Just a lot of brood again. Ooh, a lot of bees just hit me in the face there. They did not like that. They're a little testy today. Not normally like this. It could be because of the rain we had yesterday. I don't know. There's a few more drone cells on this frame. There's eggs and young larvae on here. So this would also be another good frame for a walk away split. And there's the queen, right side of the screen, right side of that frame, walking around. So now that I know where she's at, I'm going to put her back right here, and hopefully that next frame over has got a lot of young larvae, and I can take my sample from this frame here. This is all pollen. Man, they moved the pollen. Okay, so there's that's all pollen. That's a little surprising. They moved that over a whole frame. Just ran out of room. There's a lot of pollen coming in right now. This one's all bee bread as well. Let's try to show that to you if I can. Okay, let's get into this box real quick. So here is a frame from the top box. They got a lot of brood in there as well. Both sides are pretty covered. Cat brood. This queen is laying a lot of eggs. There's some queen cups on the bottom of this frame, but there are no cells. Still haven't seen a drone. Hey, there's a drone, a baby drone. He just just uh, hatched. Let me see if I can get him on camera for you. It's right there. I'm probably gonna go ahead and select this frame because there's a lot of a lot of open brood and closed brood, young larvae. Okay. I'm gonna set it down right here for a second. Last, uh, normally I will use like a tote, shake the bees into there and scoop them out. I didn't have a tote today, so I'm just going to use the measuring cup to scrape the bees right off the frame. I'm going to set this right here so you guys can kind of see it. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to do this right over here so that any bees that fall out of the cup... Turn this around and get some more bees. They do not like this. It's never done this way. I can already tell you right now I'm not a fan. It's working, but it's not great.
come back in here in just a minute. All right, guys, so a couple of things I wanted to mention here. Um, what I'm using here is Dawn Ultra Dish Detergent. I'll put the uh, ratio per gallon on the screen. Um, so far, I've done just a little over a little over a minute of this, and I've seen one mite. I'm going to give it a little bit longer, and then let it settle for a minute, and see if anything else drops while I'm putting all this back together. This isn't fun, obviously. This is not not something that we want to do, but it's for the better of the colony, and uh, so that's why I don't so much mind it. I don't want to just treat periodically like, hey, I'm just going to treat every you know every April and then treat in July after the honey flow and then treat again in the fall and then treat in the winter. I would rather only treat when I have to. Uh, so that's why I like these mite counts. So if it stays at a one, then we're not gonna treat. If it goes above that, then we will treat. And I'm actually gonna take that easy check in the house after we're done here and go through each of those bees and I'm gonna count how many bees there were Make sure that I didn't miss any mites, and if there is a different number than what it shows here at the end, I will put it on the screen. I'm going to put all this back together, guys, and then uh, I'll join back up with you here in just a minute.
All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Other than I am going to put a clip at the end of this to show you that final mite count uh, after I get it inside and see what it looks like. I'm going to get a close up uh, with this camera uh, out here. It's kind of hard to show it. I tried, but there's just one little mite on the bottom right now. Uh, I'm going to go inside and kind of uh, run some water over the bees through the basket and onto a paper towel and see if anything else falls through. So I'll show you that inside. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm in the house now. I took the bees out of here, counted them. I think I have a mite count of zero. The one thing that I thought was a mite outside, I couldn't see very well, but it was just debris. So that right there is kind of the color of a mite at the bottom of the container, but it's way too small. Uh, so other than that, I think the counts is zero. So I took this out and uh, while the bees were still in there, I kind of filtered water through there, rinsed them really good, and then checked for any fallout in here and there was none. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.